Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this flamingo. I'll be adding it to a blanket that I'm working on. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 28cm wide by 30cm or 11 inches wide by 11 and 3 quarter inches. When crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook, the medium one, the size is 19cm wide by 16cm or 7.5 inches wide by 6.25 inches. The small one crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 14cm wide by 15cm or 5.5 inches wide by 6 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be a bit smaller than the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 110 black, 114 shocking pink, 519 fuchsia, 254 moon rock and 222 tulip. I've got scissors. A white bead for the eye, a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and to embroider on the markings. Now we're going to start at the end of the beak, work up to the head and the neck and then the body all in one piece. Now the hardest rows will be rows 5 to 10 where we'll be working more than one colour at a time. Now we start with our 110, the black, and we make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle, yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And for row one, we start with one chain and we're going to work one single crochet into the circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put our hook in through the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. Then we pull our circle tight. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we're going to start with the black and then join in the fuchsia. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch with the black and we put our hook into the next stitch and leave our black where it is and we'll join in our fuchsia. Now I'm going to leave a bit of a tail and work over it to the other side just to work these couple of stitches for the neatening row. So I bring through a loop of my fuchsia and then finish the stitch with the fuchsia. I'm working a single crochet and then into my last stitch I work two single crochet with the fuchsia and I work over the top of that tape. For row six we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches with 
the fuchsia. And then we'll change to the black, leave the fuchsia where it is and just bring a loop of the black through and work one single crochet in the last stitch with the black. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the first stitch with the black and then just leave it where it is. We change to the fuchsia and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches Now we're going to join in the 222, the tulip, and again we'll leave a little bit of a tail just to work that little bit of a neatening row. So we put our hook into that last stitch and bring through a loop of the tulip and work our last stitch in the tulip. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch. Then change to the fuchsia and leave the tulip where it is. And we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we're going to change to the tulip. So just bring this tulip up and work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to join in the shocking pink. We don't need to leave a tail because we've got a lot of neatening row for the shocking pink. Just leave the others there and bring up a loop of the shocking pink. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to change to the tulip but work over the top of the shocking pink and we'll work one single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to change back to the shocking pink and just work over to the tulip to the end of the row and work one single crochet into the last stitch. Now that's the big part done. I'll just redo that stitch. Now we've finished with everything but the shocking pink. So I'm going to cut these three off, the black and the two lighter pinks. I'll need more black for the neatening row for the beak than I will the pinks. So I'll just cut the pinks off fairly close, about there, and then I'll cut 
the black off with quite a bit more to work use for my neatening row. That would just make it easier now if I've just got the one colour joined. Now we're going to start on the head. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to work one half double crochet into each of our last three stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So one more half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. We put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There's four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and then a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. We miss the last stitch. For row 17 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. For row 19 we start with three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. We're just making 
the neck bend. For bow 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For bow 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For bow 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For bow 23 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 27 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 30 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 31 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 32 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 33 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 34 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 35 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 36 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 37 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 38 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 39 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch 
and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 40 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch, and 1 single crochet into each of the last 2 stitches. For row 41, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. Our work should be bending back like that now. Now we're going to start on the body. For row 42 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. And then we work five chain. That's for up the side part there. For row 43, we work two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then one single crochet into each of the three remaining chain. And then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches along our neck part. And then two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 44 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Now I've worked nine single crochet into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. So two single crochet and then one half double crochet. For row 45 we start with 2 chain and turn. Into our first stitch we work 1 half double crochet and then 2 single crochet and then work 1 single crochet in each remaining stitch. We'll have 14 stitches. For row 46 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 
two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. And that's what the flamingo looks like at the moment. For bow 47 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. And then one half double crochet into each of the last eight stitches. For bow 48 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 7 stitches. and one single crochet into each of the last eight stitches. For bow 49 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first seven stitches. And one half double crochet into each of the last eight stitches. For bow 50 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 51 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 52 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the 14 stitches. For row 53 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. And we've got one stitch left, we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 54 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. So after the two single crochet into the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 55 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then work two chain. We're just starting on this little part for the leg to go on. For row 56 we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch until we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 18 stitches. So after our single crochet in the chain, work one single crochet in each stitch until there are two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 57, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 18 stitches. For row 58 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 59 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first 15 stitches. And then we work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. We miss that last stitch. 
For row 60, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 15 stitches. For row 61, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 14 stitches. For row 62, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 13 stitches. For row 63, we start with one chain and turn and we'll work one single crochet into each of our 13 stitches. For row 64, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 12 stitches. For row 65, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 12 stitches.
For bow 66 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 11 stitches. For bow 67 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 68 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our nine stitches. For bow 69 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first seven stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 70 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For row 71 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 72 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 73 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For bow 74 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 75 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches.
for row 76 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And that's the big head, neck and body done. We're not going to fasten off yet. We're going to work a neatening row. So for the neatening row, we can start with one chain and we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up to possibly about here and then we might work some joined slip stitches so that the neck bends right. So ju just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook and work a slip stitch. So just put your hook in, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Now we need to work a slip stitch in each row up the back because we're going to join the lighter pink to the back and work the tail and wing part onto there. So just one slip stitch in each stitch. Now I'll work off camera until I get just before the neck. Now I'm to the stitch before the neck. I want the neck to bend in a bit so I'm going to work a joined slip stitch. So I put my hook into the next stitch, the last stitch on the body and bring up a loop and then hook into the first stitch on the neck and bring up a loop and then take it straight through those two other loops and then I'll work another joined slip stitch in the first two stitches on the neck And I think I'll work another joined slip stitch as well. Just to bring it in a little bit more. And that's just making my neck go in a bit. And then just continue working slip stitches up the side of the neck. I try to hold my work in the shape that I want the neck to go. And then just check that it's looking okay. Now at the top I want the neck to bend down like that so when you're working the slip stitches 
around the top of the that part of the neck just try to hold it like that so that it will be the right go into the right shape that way you're not pulling the slip stitches too tight and pulling it out of shape Just undo that one, it doesn't look quite right. Now I'll just check. It's not bending too badly. When I go up the other side, I'll do some joined ones around that part of the neck to bring it in a bit. And I'll just work up to the beak part. Now once I get to the beak, I put my hook in the last stitch before the beak and then I'll join in the tulip and just work one or two stitches with the tulip. And then... When I get to the fuchsia, I'll join in the fuchsia. And just work to the black part of the beak with it. It's just one or two stitches we work with the other colours. Now I'm just at the top of the black part, so I'll join in the black part now and work around the black part It's just a bit hard to see with the black where the stitches are. Now I'll finish with the black, I'll just join in the fuchsia for a couple of stitches. And then 
join in the tulip. Now I'm back to the shocking pink. I'm going to cut off the pink from the other side and join it in here. So just put a loop over my hook and bring it through and work the stitch. And now I'll just work round to the end of the tail. When I weave in the ends I'll pull these in a bit better and I'll probably use the ends to weave over that bit of black and maybe that bit there and that one I'll push take through to the other side and weave in. Now I'm just working down to that bend of the neck and then we'll work some joined slip stitches in the bend. Now on two stitches before the bend I'll work a joined slip stitch in over the next two stitches. I can't get into that one, I'll just work it into this one. And the corner. And then I'll work another joined slip stitch over the next two stitches and then another one just work a couple more stitches and then I'll see how it looks So I'm quite happy with that. Now I'll just work the rest of the way to the tail off camera and I'll be back. Now I'm back to the end of the tail. I'll fasten that one off and I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll work this next part. Now that's the flamingo so far. We're going to start on this tail section. I've got my 222, the tulip, and we join to the end of the tail there. And we start with seven chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. And then we slip stitch into the same 
places our join and work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into that same stitch again. Now we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch along the back here to this point here, so to that stitch there. I'm just working into the back loop of the single crochets, oh, the slip stitches, sorry, from the neatening row. So that's the single crochet. Now if you work one chain tightly and turn the work and work a slip stitch into that stitch there, the first one worked. Now we're going to work into this back loop only. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch along until the tail.
so I've worked the one single crochet in each stitch. Now we'll turn our work and we'll work one slip stitch in each of the first six stitches. Now we're going to work this little part just at the back now. We start with 5 chain. We work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. 1 half double crochet into the next stitch. 1 double crochet into the following stitch. and two double crochet into the last of the chain. Now we're going to be working into the front loop only. So this is the front loop here, this is the back loop there. So we work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Now we'll work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. We're working into the front loop only still. So one double crochet into each stitch in the front loop only until there are two stitches left. I've got two stitches left. We work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we turn our work. Now we're going to be starting on these feathers. We're going to work the first lot of feathers in the front loop only and then we'll work the other feathers in the back loop behind them. Now we slip stitch in the front loop only in each of the next five stitches. And then work 16 chain for the first feather.
Now we all have different tension so just bend the tail part over and bend your chain down and see if it goes nearly to the end. If it doesn't you may need more chain or if it's too far over the end you may need less. We'll be missing the first two chain. Now to work the feather we miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next eight chain. and then one double crochet into each remaining chain. And then we slip stitch into the front loop only of each of the next three stitches. And then we work 15 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next seven chain. Then one double crochet into each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the front loop only of each of the next three stitches. And then we work 14 chain We miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next seven chain.
and one double crochet into each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the front loop only of each of the next three stitches and work 11 chain miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next five chain Then one double crochet into each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the next stitch along the tail piece and fasten off and that's the first lot of feathers I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back with the fuchsia and we'll work the other lot. Now for the back row of feathers I've got my fuchsia and we join two stitches before our first feather. So just in here I'm going to join through both loops for this just to make it a bit more stable. And we start with 16 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet in each of the next seven chain. And then work one double crochet into each remaining chain. And then we slip stitch in behind this first feather 
just in the middle there somewhere, in the back of the chain. And then we work 16 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next seven chain. Then one double crochet in each remaining chain. and then slip stitch in behind the next of our lighter feathers. And then we work 14 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next six chain. and then one double crochet into each remaining chain. and slip stitch in behind the next light feather and work 12 chain we miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next five chain and then one double crochet into each of the remaining chain.
and then slip stitch in behind the last light feather. And fasten off. And that's the feathers done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this little bit of neatening around the front there. Now to neaten the front of the tail section we just join in that first stitch. I've got my 222 the tulip. And we work one single crochet in each stitch to the first feather we get to. And then we work chain to go to the end of the last feather. I normally work about 13. I'll just check. I need quite a few more because this is thicker yarn than I normally use. That's right, so I'll fasten that off. And that will just stitch down over the feathers. Now we'll work the leg now. I can't get it to stay flat and less it stitch down. If you wanted your bird standing in the water, I'd just work 24 chain and work single crochets most of the way up and then half double crochets for about the last five or six stitches. Now we join just at the end of this part that points down. I've got my 254, the moon rock, and we work 35 chain if we're going to have a full leg. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. That's for the foot part. One single crochet into the next stitch. And three single crochet into the following stitch. That will just make a bend. Then work one single crochet into each of the next 12 chain.
Now we'll work the knee. We work one half double crochet, one double crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. So one half double crochet, one double crochet and one half double crochet. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch until we have five left or about five. I've got five stitches left. I'll work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then I slip stitch into the end of that leg part and fasten on. And that's the leg worked. I'll just weave in the ends except for this one. I'll use that to stitch it down a bit and I'll be back and we'll finish it off. Now there's the flamingo. To make it up I stitch down around there and I'll stitch the chain across the top of the feathers and then I'll stitch down around here and down to the tail. I'll also attach a white bead. That's the best I've got. I've only got a really big one. If I had one slightly bigger than that would be better. But I'll stitch that on and I'll be back. We will put a black dot and some markings on in a minute. Now the last things I'll do is put a black dot in the centre of the bead and I'll embroider a marking from just the point there of the pink to the black and just make it bend up a bit by working a little dash over the top and then I'll embroider another little marking from about halfway up the pink to the black, just like this one. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished flamingo. There's the finished flamingo. The size is 22 centimetres wide by 23 centimetres or 8.5 inches wide by 9 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.